Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to spend 30 minutes doing solo dungeons and see how much money we can make by just doing them regular. I know a lot of you guys are trying to speedrun them or, you know, skipping some of the mobs and just going straight for the bosses to make sure the bosses are there. We're going to go the stupid route and just kind of take a slow uh, go at them, and we're not going to go forward to make sure the bosses are there. We're going to see how much money we can make in 30 minutes. We found our first dungeon. It's right by a gate. We're going to be doing it really risky right by uh, Gravelight Marsh's gate. Uh, this is not a common thing of mine to do, but we're going to give it a go this time around as I change some of my, you know, abilities around real quick to make sure it's going to be uh, what I want to clear mobs, and that'll probably be my mob killing run, build, or whatever you guys want to call it here. Um, like I said, I do want a catfish or, uh, you know, cabbage soup or something that basically gives you a ton of health regen. That'll make you fly through this a lot faster than normal. Uh, we'll jump in here. And we're in the Hidden Sanctum level 1. Uh, this is going to be tier 5. This is a tier 5 zone, Gravelight Marsh is. So we're going to be doing tier 5 dungeons and seeing how much we can make in 30 minutes. Um, we're going to pop this fish, and when the timer goes down all the way from this fish being you know depleted or we die, either one, um, we're going to call it off and see how much money we actually did make throughout the 30 minutes of running solo dungeons. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the content. Most of you guys should be able to do tier 5 uh, solo dungeons by now. If you can't, you're doing something wrong. Um, I like to, like I said, run that catfish or anything that gives you kind of that health regen. And then I run a long bow uh, just to get my bow, you know, a little bit more leveled up because this is a new account or you know, semi-fresh account. I don't have my bow leveled up whatsoever. So this is my kind of way of leveling up my bow, leveling up my plate boots. Uh, I guess you wouldn't really call it plate boots, but leveling up my guardian boots and kind of just leveling up what I need to level up. Um, and I just kind of threw a build together. And with the longbow, pretty much anything will work, as you guys can tell that the longbow kind of just shreds through mobs. Um, and that's going to be the case in group dungeons as well as longbow is a PvE build. I do suggest running a PvE build and not worrying about PvP players. If you do get, you know, caught out in a PvP are you know getting killed by a pvp player it's really not a big deal because um you're losing what 4.1 gear right now i am running somewhat high tier gear for this challenge i'm running i think 5-1 for a solo dungeon tier 5 so it's really not that crazy and i'm sure a lot of you guys have done that in the past or you know want to do that so it's really not that bad of an idea to run uh lower gear though and even siphon energy just lower gear so you don't have to risk dying in these black zones and red zones right now um right here you're going to see that i actually do check my abilities real quick um i changed to the giant form and i also i don't know if i changed the poison arrow or not usually on bosses i'll change myself to a poison arrow but because this is a duo boss i won't actually change it to a poison arrow i'll keep it as the deadly shot the deadly shot comes in reduces resistances we're going to focus on one um, some reason I'm turning around and contacting the other one now, but we're going to come back and we're going to continue to stay on the crossbow now. Just make sure you focus one guy at a time. I'm hitting up literally every, uh, you know, every skill shot they throw at me, I hit there. So just don't do what I'm doing currently. I'm not sure um, the, you know, the skill of my myself just went gone here. So we're going to try to just kill one of them at this point in time. Uh, if you kill one of them, it doesn't respawn when you back out. So that's something you guys can do if you guys are struggling on a boss that has two um, two characters to kill. I am using learning points because uh, I have a lot of learning points to spend, and I'm just kind of popping them randomly. Uh, but we do have the last boss here, and this is a blue boss. All blue bosses uh, are all two man. Um, all two man. What do you call that? Bosses are going to have a blue chest at the very least. I don't believe there are any green chest duo bosses. So. We are going to finish this guy out real quick like, and I do run a tier 4 poison as you can see there. It lowers their resistances and does a little bit of damage. Kind of helps me with while, uh, you know, killing bosses. Um, you can run a healing potion if you'd like, but those are more expensive. Uh, the first blue chest, we get a pretty much next to nothing. Um, just a bunch of gems and, uh, you know, bags of silver. So we're going to continue on now, and you're going to see the next bosses coming up here. Um... We got a lot of mobs to clear here yet in the boss area, so we're going to clear those mobs and we'll go on to killing the actual boss himself. And this is another blue chest. Um, you know, blue chests do have chances of dropping some pretty good loot, definitely even in T5. Um, T5 black zones alone, I've gotten really, really good stuff from blue chests. So 
you know, don't <laughs> don't be upset if you find a blue chest. You have a good chance of something decent. Um, you know, right here we're clearing the mobs to make sure this boss is as easy as I can get it. And as we come back over here, we're going to change our abilities actually to the giant and the poison arrow, and that's going to pretty much help us clear this boss a little bit easier. Um, now we're going to get started on the boss here. Uh, once our cooldowns are back, like I said they would be, I threw the poison in. I did all of my damage and my major damage right away with the poison resist. Um, you know, the dam or what do you call that? The resistance down from the poison um, potion. I will be, you know, throwing all of my damage on him basically right away. Uh, right here you're going to be able to see that this guy is actually somewhat a hard boss to kill if you don't play it correctly. Um, I did get hit by about every skill shot yet again. I'm not a great showing for me as a player, but that's, you know, when you're doing PV, what can you expect? You're a PV player at the point in time, so, you know, just kind of stoop down to that level. Um, but in this blue chest, like I said, you can get some good stuff. And like you can see, I got a 5.1, 5.2 weapon. Uh, both pretty good weapons, and they sell for, you know, quite a lot. So we're going to back out of this dungeon and continue our adventure elsewhere. Uh, so far, two bosses in. We're probably, we're, we're easily above 100k. Um, I'm thinking we're probably close to 200k silver. Uh, and that was probably, what, 10 minutes of game time so far. So we are risking a lot by going into these black zones. Um, and I, I don't know if you guys notice, I'm usually clearing out these beginning mobs too, which, you know, gives gankers even an easier shot at coming behind me and killing me. So... I wouldn't be surprised if I do die, um, but we are running through right now, and we're going to try to clear all these mobs out here. Uh, I love these barrels. They give you great opportunity to just kill them all in one go. Um, I'm going to toss my longbow down here. Um, toss my longbow E down, I guess. And I think we're actually going to live this. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit longer to kill them because I kind of messed that up, that combo. Um, these guys are really annoying. There's mobs that have the shield where you do basically, I don't know if it's like 10% damage or what you do, but you do a lot, lot of less damage with that, uh, with that ability on them. So we're going to try to kind of group, I don't think I group these guys up real quick and kill them. Um, it's just, it's really is great fame, uh, doing solo dungeons. If you have a pretty strong build for PVE. You just got to not be upset if you lose your, you know, lose your gear. That's that's the one way to go about this and be a winner even if you get ganked is go gear that you don't really care about because you're getting silver bag drops, um, you know, throughout the bosses. So even if you lose all of your gear, the silver bags that you get from these bosses are actually kind of insane as I get like a 4-1 helm there. Not worth much of anything, but uh, the silver bag drops, like I said, are pretty insane that you can, you know, pull out of this. So... You know, you can get 26 per boss or something like that, and, you know, they get higher and higher as the higher tiers you go. So, like I said, you can kind of get your repair costs, or not repair costs, but, you know, buy your new gear with silver bags alone. Um, just based on, you know, collecting all that silver bags from these bosses when you get pretty bad loot. It's really not that bad of loot because you got that silver. Uh, so, in case you get ganked, you'll be good. Um, but we're moving on to another blue boss. It seems like we're getting all blue bosses this time around so far. I'm going to change my giant and my poison arrow like usual, and we're going to get started on this giant boss. Um, I do have the buff on right now uh, from picking it up, but I'm actually not going to use it to my advantage too much because I had to wait for cooldowns to make sure I got a lot of my damage out when I had the poison potion on the boss. So this build also is very good for bosses because of the Q, the poison arrow. I definitely suggest going if you're playing a bow and you are struggling against bosses. Definitely a strong option um, on the bow build. But we are going to slowly kill this guy um, as this is going to be a pretty fairly easy boss. I, I, you've seen some bosses that are kind of hard. There's some that pull you in like you saw earlier and they throw the cleaving axes around. Or there's a couple purple and obviously champion level, or not champion level, but gold level uh, bosses that are just going to be insanely difficult. But right there you saw I kind of got about nothing uh, too special from that boss as I change my change my abilities back. We're going to skip forward a little bit here. Um, just kind of, you know, go speed through it a little bit. I'm not going to really skip, kind of show you guys that I am clearing the mobs. I'm not really skipping any mobs. Make sure you guys see that. And right here we're going to get a good group. And, I mean, you got to realize the amount of fame bonus you're going to be getting here too. This is on fame week, so this was a fame week when I was completing this. So I was getting decent fame all around with premium 
fame week and uh you know running that solo dungeon by myself so right here we're getting a lot of good fame uh coming down the stairs we're gonna have a boss coming up here shortly um you guys all know about these dungeons where you come down here and there's a boss waiting for you at the very bottom so we have a little area to clear there i just kind of skipped through it real quick and we have another blue chest actually uh we've had i think all blue chests like i said earlier and you know i'm not mad about it blue chests do have good chances at some quality items uh, we're probably about 15, 20 minutes into the uh, food. So we're going to get started on this boss. And we're doing great time and great silver right now per hour. Um, you can definitely find better elsewhere. I, I'm not going to say this is the best or even close to the best. But, you know, for so, for being a solo, you know, option for, you know, a game that's not really meant for solo players. Um, like, you know, this game really does cater to group play and guild play and alliance play and all that kind of thing. So... The fact that you're able to actually, you know, go do a solo dungeon and get pretty decent gear and good fame, um, you know, that's just that's just a, definitely a bonus to this game. So now that there's that option for solo players, uh, it's a lot of fun. And blue chest, we got, you know, nothing too special on this one. Um, you know, that's been the case. You know, you'll have banger chests like that five one and five two weapon coming out of, and then you'll have chests that just give you gems and bags of silver. But I believe we do have one more boss for you in the last dungeon of the of the 30 minute run, and that's so I can bank and everything within that 30 minutes. I don't want to go above that 30 minutes. I want to repair my things and sell everything and basically do everything I need to do in 30 minutes. So I'm not, um, you know, kind of just throwing in that 30 minute challenge without you know taking 40 minutes. You know, so we are going to get into the final boss here, and it's actually going to be a purple boss. We're going to have a purple boss. Um, we're going to change our abilities real quick. This boss is actually one of the easier purple bosses, and I'm very happy about that going into this. As I wait on my abilities to come off of cooldown, um, right now we're sitting at probably 400k um, in loot. Uh, maybe 300, probably 400k though in loot, and this has been about 25 minutes or 20 minutes probably. Uh, as we get a lot of damage down on this boss right here, um, we're going to back up, make sure we don't get hit by that ability. Pretty simple to do as a ranged character. And, I mean, it's even simpler, actually, as the DPS. You just go to the other side of him. So, uh, this boss is, like I said, very easy, very simple. I'm um, throwing all the poison arrows on him. Uh, we got him about half health that quick. And it's going to be continue to be easy. Uh, what you're going to notice, though, is with all this loot, it obviously goes up per tier. So, I could run tier 6 easily um, with the build I'm currently running. I could run tier 6 black zones. And that would honestly be about safer because I wouldn't be sitting right by a portal like a Grave Light Marsh. But, um, you know, do what you want. Do what works for you. And we're just doing Tier 5s because that's something about everybody can do. You get 10k fame there. Very good fame. Um, and then a bunch of runes and silver drops. So right there we got about 350k. And I'll see you guys next time on the next 30-minute challenge.